Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Let's solve the problem C from the biweekly contest 125. So this video is going to be a bit long, but I can guarantee you that by the end of this video, you will learn new concepts and you, you will learn how to approach these type of problems in the contest. So before wasting any further time, let's understand the problem. So you are given, so this is the hardest of the medium level problem. So don't uh, like, don't be demotivated by seeing this problem. So I took around 15 minutes to solve this and I have came up with various approaches while solving and I, I am going to discuss the different approaches here. Here you are given an unrooted weighted tree with n vertices represent servers numbered from 0 to n minus 1. So he is saying that weighted tree. So what is the difference between tree versus graph? Tree versus graph. Comment it down. What is the difference between tree versus graph? So I think you have commented it or you have thought in your mind. Now let's see. Graph is a non-linear data structure that can have more than one path between vertices. That means, that means now we have this node. We have A, B, C. Now A, B, C is one path. A, C is my another path. So that can have more than one path between vertices. Now A to C, I have more than two paths. Now tree is a non-linear data structure but it has only one path between two vertices. That means we have A, we have B and we have C. And A to B and C, this is the only path I have between A to C. There is no path between, direct path between A and C. So this is the main difference between tree and graph. So you can expect this in the interview. So I understand it clearly. Now an array edges where edges i, so he is saying that he is giving edges a, b and some weight represent a bidirectional edge between vertices a, b, b. Bidirectional is something a to b and b to a. This is the bidirectional. So if you mention directional then it will be like a to b or b to a. It depends on the question how he is asking. And you are also given an integer signal speed and he is saying that there is a speed. You can think about a Wi-Fi speed. Two servers A and B are connected through server C. He is saying that we have two servers A and we have another server B and it is connected to the server C. If my A is less than B and A, A, B and C should not be equal and A should be less than B and the distance from C to A is divisible by signal speed. That means the distance from uh, C to A, sir, this distance, this distance considered as D and it should be divisible by signal speed. Now C to B, this should be divisible by my signal speed. Now we need to return an integer array count of length n where count of i is the number of server pairs that are connected through the server A. He is saying the server A is something like every values, right? From suppose I have 8 nodes, 0 to 8 nodes. So if my 0 will be my server or 1 will be my server, 2 will be my server, anything will be my server, anything will be my server. So this is my server and from server I need to calculate. Now, now he is saying that number of pairs that are connected through the server. And now let's understand like different scenarios. The input is generated such that it just represents a valid tree. And the most important thing is right uh, here. Uh, this part, this is the most important thing. The path from C to B and path from C to A do not share any addresses. Any edges. That means, suppose we have this. Suppose this is my server. This is my A and B. So the path. Now A to server is my this path and A B to server is my this path. And it is sharing the common path. This should not be there. That means if my server is at this location, that means either you should go to left right down or bottom but in this if you are going this side and in this path you can't in you can't take one more node one more node. i think you have got it this is the most important thing in the question so i think you have got it so try i think you have got the question how to solve this so give it a try give it a try for at least 20 to 25 minutes think various approaches think dfs bfs and everything then come and watch the next part of the video so I think you have tried for a couple of minutes. Now let's understand. Let's understand with this, uh, with this example. Now he has given the edges and he has given signal speed as one. And from zero, from zero, no, 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 no. Suppose consider zero as my server. Zero as my server. 
from 1 to 0 only I can go right for there is no another path and if you are taking this 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 edge has collided has been collided with this path so I can't take now if you are taking 1 now if you are taking 1 so here we have 1 2 3 4 and here I have 1 so total 4 paths so you can see here I have 4 paths so if you are taking 2 I here I have 2 paths here I have 3 paths so 2 into 3 that means we have 6 same here 2 into 3 6 same here 4 into 1 4 and here there is no we can find only A we can't find B so it will be my 0 and let's see with this scenario signal speed is the most important thing don't forget because my it should be divisible by signal speed my distance now let's see this example now if you see here if you consider that my server this is my server C and he's saying that two pairs of connectable servers 4 comma 5 and 4 comma 6 that means 4 comma 5 4 to 5 if you are going to 4 to 5 from 4 to my server distance is 3 my 5 to server my distance is 6 both are divisible by my signal speed so that is my path same with 4 6 4 5 and 0 5 so I think you have understood it how what exactly is happening so to solve this problem first thing comes into the mind is I need to fix the nodes I need to fix and let's see the constants as well let's see the constant n is equals to 1000 that means I can go till n into n I can go till n into n okay and these are my weights so weights are 10 power 6 10 power 6 so int is my suitable uh, data type now let's see for every server for every server suppose I have server at node 0 node 0 so I will calculate every path right I need every path I need every path and if you are considering server at 1 same I need every path every path on in every direction I need to calculate I need to calculate in left anywhere all directions sorry because it's a tree and there will be uh, suppose in tree people will think only left child and right child only two nodes but it's not the case it is like a distributed tree you can say um, these are my nodes so I will fix I will fix one node I will fix one node and what I can do here is I will fix it and I will go here and I will go here and I will perform my BFS from here sorry DFS from here same thing same thing because if you are performing DFS from here from here you will get the collisions right you will get now you will go here you will go here then you will come here so if you are like this suppose if your path is this way now you have these nodes and this is my server and we have these nodes and these are my AB and if you are doing DFS from here if you are doing DFS from here you will come like we have this we have this so these are all my separate parts these are all my separate parts and if you are at this position you can come here and you can perform DFS you can perform DFS now I can't take this as my pair right I can't take this as my pair so what I will do here is what I will do so if you consider this example and consider k is equals to 1 consider k is equals to 1 now we have here we have two nodes here we have two nodes here we have two nodes here one and here we have four here we have four so I will start from this node I will start from this node and I will calculate how many nodes are there uh, in this path in this path which are divisible by my signal speed same thing I will come here and I will check same thing here same thing here same thing I will do and after getting this let's uh, let's consider answer answer I will explain you that as well let's consider answer so I will do some uh, calculations and I will get to my results for node 1 for node 1 so same thing applies here so suppose you are at any node suppose you are at this node and you want to perform you will go here and you will calculate total number and you will go here you will calculate total and you go here to calculate total calculate here now let's see now let's see the coding part let's the uh, only the part where we have seen that now first we will building the graph adjacency list I think you know how to build the graph I am assuming that you know now vector int answer and this calculate my adjacent comma I so here in my calculate here in my calculate you know I think you know DFS travel cells I I am hoping that you know if you are not aware of DFS please please go geek for geeks or you can type in YouTube and you can watch the DFS travel cells because DFS and the BFS are the basic graph travel cells travel, travel cells you should know 
<laughs> before solving this type of problems now here your previous equals to 0 answer equals to 0 and auto i is adjacent of n that means that means suppose we have this data structure 1 so i will go here to 0 and I will calculate the DFS. I will do the DFS. Then I will go to 8 and I will do the DFS. 5, DFS, 2, DFS. After coming here, after coming here, you can see adjacent n i dot first, s plus i dot second. So what is this here? Uh, one minute. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, this is DFS travel, sir. So this is i dot second. Uh, this is i dot second uh, this is my s yeah now uh, you are at this position so first after coming to this position my answer will be 2 right so i will check my s modulo 0 equal equals to 0 if it is i will increment my answer and if my i first is equals to parent i will say continue that means when you are at this node so if you are taking adjacency for this you will you will encounter one if you are encountering the one this is my parent already i have traversed it so i will uh, not traverse then answer equals to dfs of s plus i dot second and my parent will go into change as n right this n my parent and this will be my dot first will be my child so in this way i will calculate the dfs and i will get the answer uh, i will get the k so after getting the k so if you see here we have this much pairs we have we are getting two four one and four right uh nine are two two sorry two as a cut twice what is this? This two and we have this two number of nodes, number of equal nodes. Consider k is equal to 1, that's what we are considering. Here we have 1, here we have 4. How you will know? If you multiply this all pairs, you will get 16. You will get 16. But 16 is my answer. Think, think, 16 can be my answer. No, right? Now if you see here, we have two pairs. Two pairs here. Okay, these two pairs can form if you are taking these two pairs, if you are taking these two pairs, 2 into 2, 4 pairs I can form. In the first set, I can form the 4 pairs, 2 into 2, 4. And and for the second set, these are all my 4 pairs, these 4 pairs. Now you, you have 1 here, 1 here and these are my uh, first, we, we, we are going to have these 4 pairs, then then you have one here so these four pairs uh, consider this as my answer answer first we are getting two pairs then we got the two pairs two into two we have total of four pairs considering only this criteria only this these nodes only these nodes then then here total we have four four right and we have one so four into one which is then we have four pairs now now complete this we have 8 pairs now we should consider this node as well now this is 2 this is 2 and this is my 1 so total 5 now 5 into 4 which is 20 so total pairs are 28 28 not 16 so because because if you see here now if you see here here we have two nodes and here we have one node and we are here two nodes and here we have four nodes and this is my root this is my root now in the beginning this two can form pair with this two right and it can combine it can combine and it can form pair with this node then it can combine and this can form a pair with this node and this total will get compound so we need to add all this so we will get the 28 so same thing we have done here we have previous equals to 0 and we are taking answer answer equals to answer plus previous into k that means when you encountered first node first node that is 2 there will be no answer so it will be 0 then I will add 2 then at the second scene you will get 2 which is 2 into 2 which is 4 4 I will add it to the answer then it will be converted to 4 then 4 into 1 in the same way you will calculate this and I will return the answer so if you see here the here my time complexity will be SC is equal to calculate adjacent comma i and for every node for every node that means when you are at this node for every node you are calculating so total number of nodes here are n right so here my time complexity will be n into n that means number of nodes into number of nodes and here we are using extra space adjacency list so it will be like order of n extra space so i think you have learned something new from this video you got to understand how these calculations will be done and why we are going with the dfs and why we need to go to 
adjacency node and we need to perform dfs to calculate the number of um, number of valid scenarios so i think you have got it so if you learned something new from this video please please do consider like and please do subscribe to my channel so if you are like a dsc enthusiastic i have created a whatsapp community you can join there so there we will discuss the various dsc problems so i will see you in the next video till then bye bye